How's it going ladies and gentlemen? Naresh Nathan here. And it feels like it's been ages since I've gotten to talk to you. And today we're going to be reviewing the Koto Bukia Artifacts Plus 1 tenth scale Deadpool statue. Looking at the box, it's got a beautiful artwork of the statue. A couple of photographs of the statue itself. The Deadpool logo on the sides. And if you notice the back, the actual artwork on which the statue is based on. And there's a blurb there that you guys could pause to read. Now coming to the statue itself, some assembly is required as it does come in a few parts, but it's the easiest assembly that you could ever ask for. Now Kodobukiya recently finished all their Marvel Now 1 10th scale Artifacts Plus statues and they've moved on to other Marvel characters, the first one of them being Deadpool. The statue also comes with a few extra parts like another sword, a katana blade if that's what you call it, another interchangeable hand as well. If you notice the details on the statue, you can see that he's got a dagger on his left leg, a gun holster on his right leg, he's got like a utility belt of sorts around his waist, and he's in the crouched position which is very different from all the other Marvel Now or even the DC Artifacts Plus 1 tenth scale statues. They're all more or less standing and this guy is crouched so he does appear to be a little shorter. He's about 5 inches from the base to the top of his head there. One of the most interesting features of this statue is this picket signboard that they've included. So that you could be as creative or as sarcastic or as funny as Deadpool himself and write down things that you think he might say. And um, it can be inserted into the same hand that holds his blade, his sword. And um, it's another fun accessory and I'm sure it's going to go a long way with collectors because it gives the collectors a chance to show off their creativity. Now the base is quite interesting. Unlike all the other Artifacts Plus 1 tenth scale statues that we've seen, you'd notice that they have a square base with a magnet inside. This guy however has a round base and a felt kind of a feel at the bottom. And the magnets at the base of his feet firmly attach him onto the base. And I have to say this is the strongest magnetic base that I have seen that Kodobukiya has put out in their 110 scale. A little bit of size comparison for you. Here he is next to the Darth Vader 110 scale Artifacts Plus statue. And with the Kodobukiya DC Artifacts Plus 110 scale Green Lantern statue. As I said earlier, if you notice, all these statues are standing up while Deadpool is a little crouched, so he appears to be a little shorter, but more dynamic I would say nonetheless. So I hope you enjoyed this little review of the Kodobukiya RFX Plus Deadpool statue. And until next time, keep collecting.